Hey guys, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm international singing coach Ken Tamplin, and we're about to embark on a journey of 25 of the most epic vocal screams of all time. Now we'll start at 25, we'll work our way towards number one, and with that said, at number 25 is David Coverdale from Whitesnake. The song is called Still of the Night. You probably know him from the band Deep Purple as well. And with that said, take it away, David. Our next gut-wrenching whale is Monkey Wrench, none other than the Foo Fighters, Mr. David Grohl. I love what he said in an interview about how the band got its name and he said, if he knew it would have lasted that long, he would have thought of something else cooler. With that said, Dave pulling it off live. Check it out. All right, coming in at number 23 is Ronnie James Dio, and it is The Mob Rules. It's the first time I've ever actually heard him sing this high. Let's check it out. All right, conquering the Reich position at number 22 is Jeff Tate. The band is Queen's Reich. The song is called Queen of the Reich, and his notorious, I'm Queen of the Reich! <laughs> Take it away, Jeff. Okay, holding in at number 21 is Pisces Ginger, a Ukraine-based band with Tatiana Smayek as the singer. A growl so gnarly, it hardly sounds like it can come from a woman, and yet it does. Check it out. Storming in at number 20 is Hailstorm, Miss Lizzie Hale. Now this girl's etching her way into becoming maybe one of the greatest female rock vocalists of all time. Let's do this. I miss the misery. No! And stealing the number 19 slot is Steelheart, Never Let You Go, singer Millie Matichevic. Millie's probably one of the greatest male high range rock vocalists of all time. Really love his stuff. With that said, let's check out Never Let You Go. Remembering another searing scream is I Remember You by the band Skid Row singer Sebastian Bach. Now Sebastian was known for hitting long high notes and this song is no exception. Chiseling its way into number 16 is Cochise by Audio Slave, singer Chris Cornell. Now Chris was known for his high range, power, and grit. Let's check it out. It's a jungle out there, baby! And who better to show us than Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses, swinging in at number 15. Ironically, Axl remembers this song being written, I guess, while he was in the basement of Slash's mom's house? <laughs> I guess we have to start somewhere, but anyway, this bad boy will bring you to your knees, knees, knees! Axl, I wanna hear you scream! Sliding in at number 14 is Devin Townsend and Deadhead. This Canadian rocker shows no mercy when it comes to growl, so Deadhead is Deadhead. Killing it at number 13 is Rob Halford and Painkiller. The band is Judas Priest. Let's watch him in action. Taking its stand at number 12 is Pat Benatar and Hell is for Children. Pat Benatar arguably is one of the best female rock vocalists of all time. Hell is for 
It's time we hit it with Child in Time from Deep Purple. Vocalist Ian Gillen, also one of the greatest rock singers ever. Uh, this song's actually over 10 minutes long, but includes some of the most epic screams ever recorded. Here it is. So, who owns the number 10 slot? The Who, and won't get fooled again. Vocalist Roger Daltrey was quite the brawler. In fact, he got kicked out of his own band uh, for beating up the drummer Keith Moon for selling drugs to uh, John Entwistle and Pete Townsend. I guess he's seen the error of his ways, and he comes in at number 10 with the most epic vocal scream ever. Check it out. <laughs> Dreamin' In at number nine is Dream On by Aerosmith. Singer is Steven Tyler. Now Steven was quoted as saying that this song was written when he was like 17, several years before the inception of the band Aerosmith, and that he was actually really insecure about his voice. Let that be a lesson to all of us. And so uh, this was one of the songs that he felt like he actually got to sing in the song rather than screaming or rapping or doing something different that Steven's known for. So I think that's pretty cool. So with that said, let's dream on. Dream on. Coming in at number eight is Screamer by King's X. Singer is Doug Pinnock. Now, Doug actually came from a lot of Christian rock bands way back in the day. In fact, I saw him back in his band. It was called Servant, actually, a long time ago, back in the late 70s, somewhere in there. Uh, early 80s, late 70s, I think it was. But anyway, let's hear Screamer, Doug Pinnock. This is gnarly. <laughs> Falling into the number seventh slot is Demon of the Fall by Opeth, singer Mikael Ackerfeldt. Hopefully I said your name right. And uh, man, this is gnarly. Check it out. <laughs> Creating chaos at number six is Eye of Chaos by Once Human, vocalist Lauren Hart. Now Lauren also is a guest vocalist for the band Camelot. Check it out. Barreling in at number five is Mike Patton and Faith No More. Now Mike apparently hooked up with the band back in 1986 when they were playing at a pizza parlor in Eureka, California. And the rest is history. Let's check it out. <laughs> Screaming in at number four is Pantera and the Great Southern Trend Kill. Now, Phil and Salmo was in a bit of a dispute with the band, so he went over to Trent Reznor's studio to go ahead and record his vocals, while Dimebag and the rest of the band went over to Chase and Jason's studios. Nonetheless, here we have it, an epic scream. <laughs> Dominating the number three spot is Maria Brink and In This Moment. This is one epic crazy scream. Check this out. Yeah! Crushing the number two slot is M Shadows, Avenged Sevenfold, and Critical Acclaim. Just five guys from Orange County doing what they do best. Check this out. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the number one most epic vocal scream of all time goes to Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. Now, for many reasons, not the least of which the scream is like 17 seconds long, and it's pretty epic. Um, some things about Chester and the band I think you guys should know is the band was rejected 44 times by record labels before they actually got signed, and yet the band went on to sell over 50 million records. 
In addition to that, they were the first band, I think, to hit over a billion views on YouTube, and I think the number one liked band on Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. Now, some cute things about Chester, he actually worked at Burger King back in 1996 or something like that, and was so poor that when he married his wife, Marie, uh, they actually couldn't afford wedding rings, so they got matching tattoos on their fingers. How cute. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to mention he was bullied in school, and yet this guy picked himself up by his bootstraps and became Chester Bennett. It's a bummer that we lost him the way that we did, but just an absolutely phenomenally talented guy. Now, I'm going to go ahead after this video and I'm going to do some honorable mentions and I'm going to paste them back to back because this was all done by polling for your request coming to me, uh, telling me the songs that you wanted to hear. So I'm going to try to put as many as I can back to back after the song. So stay tuned for that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm a vocal coach, so for any of you guys out there wanting to learn to sing, uh, Stop by Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. You can find that here. And uh, let's rock this. Chester Bennington, Lincoln Park. Woo! <laughs> Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay? Thanks guys. Peace out.